I've been working on a few things today. One of the things I thought I'd check out is the centerboard. I said it was glassed over and started looking at it. And it's got a whole bunch of these bolts shoved up through the bottom and a couple layers of fiberglass that were basically siliconed up in there with the bolts going up through the bottom to hold them up. Still not sure why that screw is there. And I'll figure it out sooner or later. So I got down here with the hammer and the chisel and pry bar and start working on it. And the good news is that uh, kind of hard to see but the center board is actually up in there and it looks like they ground off the front edge of it to make it flat on the bottom which can be repaired and the hole is not completely glassed over which is one thing I was wondering about they just put a whole bunch of silicone up there on top of these boards put these boards up there and screwed them in so eventually I'll be able to get it off except for the fact that it's sitting on a block and like I said okay I actually hit a button and stopped recording but like I said I'm in the storage area not the work area of the yard so there's a boat that has to be moved just so the travel lift can get to my boat to lift it up just to finish getting this off so it's not anything that's going to happen anytime soon but eventually i'll get to it i mean i'm thinking about coming down here with the saw and trying to cut up as far as i can to get the board out so i can at least see some of what's up in there but like I said, to get the rest of it off and to actually check it, make sure it works. I'm going to need to be put up on the lift and that ain't happening no time soon. So my project that I'm working on today is straightening up this mess down in through here. So I've got access there and access up there in the engine compartment. So I went and got a couple pieces of two inch PVC pipe that I'm actually gonna run under the floor as conduit. And that way when I get down here, instead of having everything just in a big bunch here, I'm gonna separate all the water lines off the one and all these electrical lines off in the other pipe. That way, if I need to run any more electrical or anything, I can just go up here and feed it in through the, the conduit, and it'll come out down here, and I can run it where I need to without having to rip up the floor to do it. saw my earlier video I was kind of wondering what this was for well now after straightening some of this out that's actually the vent for the water tanks which runs down through goes up, up behind this bulkhead here and there's the end of it it would normally be up behind the bulkhead here well above deck level and for some reason they unhooked it and what they did was for some reason they used to run out of here come under here and go over and connect into there for some reason, 
they have it come out here to hit an elbow to go over here to hit an elbow to go down through here to come up back over there and just end so it's lower than the fill on the deck so as you fill it up then it's going to overflow and come out back there hmm I guess I'm going to have to change that It's like a nylon, I don't know what you would call it. It's made for hanging ductwork underneath the house. It's plastic, so I hope it doesn't rot out too quick. And then I wrapped it around, put a screw in with the big flat washer to hopefully prevent it from ripping the material. Up in there nice and secure. All my water lines should be running in one and everything electrical in the other and hopefully it'll keep it up out of the way and organized and in the future if i need to run anything else i can just shove it through the pipe and be done with it so couldn't hold off anymore i went and got the saw and cut this piece off just to get a better look up in there only problem is there's no room for me to get my head in there to even look but hey there's something up there One of these days, I'll get to fix that. So, a little update on uh, my PVC conduit that I put in. At first, I had uh, both of them side by side. With the second pipe, it just left a little bit of space in through here. And I figured, uh, might as well just go ahead and put one on top of the other. Give me access if there's anything I need to do down in there for some reason. And then... Got the electrical. Maybe you can see. Maybe you can't. Electrical ran through. Most of the wires are ran up through. Goes down here. And I've got access here so that in the future, if I need to run anything, I can reach my hand through and actually get to that piece of conduit for running wires. And then I haven't ran the water lines yet, but I got the top pipe here for the water lines. And these are the old water lines and and the vent for the fuel tank and the water tank. And when I get around to that, then everything will be ran through that conduit. And then back to this end. I ended up 
cutting this pipe shorter because somewhere around this area is probably going to be the water heater. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to put it back up into here or it'll be around here. And all the water lines branch off to go over here for the galley. And now you can see one of the main reasons that I'm replacing all the water lines because I think that might be the original hose from when the boat was built. And, you know, there's other little pieces here and there that have been replaced. And then you come over here. It's got a uh, regular straight T fitting there. This one. Uh, I need a real camera. And you can see this one's got a pipe tee with fittings, with barb fittings put into it. So, yeah, all these tees and splices and everything, different types and sizes, but I guess they work. And got the bottom ones for electrical. Comes back here to the back of the water tank, and then I got everything ran around over here and up through there because originally I always hit my head on that thing originally this is where all the electrical was and she's still got the panel for the AC here and then it had the DC there too and I'm going to try to see if I can figure out some of that uh video editing magic and i'm going to put a picture in here so that you can see what it used to look like or if i can't do that then you're just going to be looking at me pointing at this hole where stuff used to be and uh, used to have the dc panels here and i think i'm recording in the wrong mode again because the light won't come on okay now it's in a mode that the light will work. But anyways, like I was saying, all the electrical breakers and everything used to be here, the distrib distribution panel. And for some reason, having everything right above the engine just doesn't sound good to me. And having AC and DC in the same area, kind of, I'm not too thrilled about that. I don't know, it's probably standard on most boats that you have one area where everything is. So I decided I was going to move the DC away from the AC. You know, uh, safety is you have a DC wire come loose and it happens to contact one of these on the back and now you've got 110 volts running through to your light bulb and you wonder why your light's not working and you go to change the bulb and next thing you know, 110 volts is running through you. So I've been rerouting everything over here. Every, all my DC is coming through here and coming up. And now you get to see one of my mistakes. I've been running everything through. I put a piece of conduit up here for everything to run into. Making a nice panel. Except for this. I had a piece of plywood laying around the house. And wanted to make it, you know, it would fit in here and it doesn't look too bad. So I set up my little jig and put boards on there to use the circular saw to, to cut it to the right size. And I zipped across the ends with circular saw. Not thinking about it cuts on the upstroke. So it splintered the veneer off the ends on both ends of it. As soon as I cut it, then I realized it's like, crap. I can't believe I just did that. And I still had to cut out the holes to put the panels in. So I said, well, I'm not going to do that again. So I went to the back side of the board, drew my pattern, marked everything out where all the panels need to go, the holes and everything. And said, I'm not going to splinter it when I do that, even though the edge of the panel would cover it if it did splinter it. But I had to use a jigsaw. So I went to the corners where I was going to cut out. 
and I had the pattern on the back side of it and drilled through and forgot to put a board underneath this board so when the drill came through and popped out it uh, splintered where the drill came through so yeah it's a lot nicer than it was and this is just a future project i don't think i can leave it like that no but one of these days i'll come back and redo that this doesn't have to be done right now because uh, I guess there's other stuff I could be doing. Oh, one other thing. Uh, some people have been mentioning that we need more Sonya in these videos. So there she is. Hello. We just need to bring the leaf blower down. The marvelous pine tree. It's good for many things. It provides shelter, shade from the sun, can block some of the wind during a storm. It, it can make a home for animals and can even be used for wood for building shelters or it can be used to make paper so that we can print out our emails i just wish it would quit pooping on my boat that's all i ask quit pooping on my boat but it could be worse i mean at least it's not birds right 